You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Angelscapes with host Nancy Smith, your direct connection to finding your soul's power and wisdom. Join Nancy, Akashic Medium, in this interactive show to explore tools and steps you can take to create peace, calm, and confidence in your life. So now, please welcome the host of Angelscapes, Nancy Smith. What is the latest news from your spirit guides? Do you know how to listen to your spirit guidance? And do you trust your intuition? And many thoughts go through our minds at any given minute. And do you know which ones feed you? Do you know which ones you need to feed? And do you know which ones you need to let pass by? This is Angelscapes, and I'm your host, Nancy Smith. What is intuition? We use it all the time. It's not common sense. It's not fear. It's not beliefs. It's not our willpower. Intuition is a small voice that is quiet. It pervasively moves throughout your emotions, through um, your physical body. They even speak to you in your thoughts. Intuition connects us to a larger one mind, to our soul and to the creator. It's very easy for you to block out your intuition. As a matter of fact, it takes focus with a little training to uncover the intuitive knowing and i have heard people call extra this extra sense weird or crazy yet it, it's the sanest part of our being do you want to learn to hear your intuition lots of times we're going to open up to readings in about two seconds but i just wanted to say that these readings will be intuitive and as an intuitive reader i read from the akashic records of your soul i also read sometimes um, mediumistically if a spirit comes through and blesses with me I will describe that spirit who is your loved one from the other side and sometimes your spirit guides will connect with me and I'll give you um, messages from your spirit guides but just a little definition of just so you could take it home and work with it intuition as I call it is a loud fearful controlling demanding um, sense that drives us to do to plan to judge to blame to shame no matter what this is our unconscious self that keeps us trucking through our lives in our ordinary, normal way. And our intuition keeps us what it thinks keeps us safe and keeps us moving in the right direction. Our intuition is that quiet voice within that takes us out of the ordinary into the extraordinary. And this is a lot of times when I will read for people, um, and when they come to me for a reading, is that they feel that there's a disconnect in in their lives, or there's something that they're just qu- not quite grasping a hold of, and they and and they're looking for somebody who could see past into the intuitive or into the um, higher consciousness or into spirit. There's three consciousnesses of ourselves. There's our, our unconscious self, which is all our beliefs and our structures within since we started building since we were born. And then there's our conscious self is, is in our heart that you're in charge. You're aware. You choose. And um, it, and then, then we go to the higher conscious self, which is with spirit, with it, which is which is with your higher self, with is with your soul, and there is a fourth consciousness, a super consciousness, and we'll talk about that in another session. Um, but that that is the level of the creator. So we're going to start talking and, and doing readings. And as I read for people, I just want you to know that we're we're walking you through a, a step by step place. It, it, as you get the information, these are little tidbits or little knowledge for you to take action in a new way in a new place. So. Um, as, as I work through the readings, I'll be giving you little bits of information of, of what, what we've gone through and what you can take home. So if you don't get a reading, this all this information is for everyone. So so welcome. I'd like to welcome our first guest, which is Mary Lou. Is Mary Lou, are you there, Mary Lou? I am here. Mary Lou, Thank you. 
Yeah, thanks for coming on. And can I, what can I, I've never met you before. So do you have a question you would like for me to um, blend in and, and uh, get an answer to? Or get you some, some, uh, Absolutely. I I have a question. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. So, um, as we are transitioning, you know, it's very clear to me that I'm here in the service of love, light, and healing. And for... A good part of my life, I've done, I've been very much in people's energy and hands-on work and, um, but as we move forward, I am trying to point my compass. You know, this year has given me the opportunity to... Um, well, I haven't been with people pretty much for a <laughs> right. year. Yeah, right. Welcome. To, oh, my gosh. So it sounds and, like, yeah, go ahead. Keep going. And Lynn. so as uh, I'm trying to point my compass, I really feel um, kind of stymied, um, both like professionally and geographically um, how I should move forward. Okay. Oh, well, um, so you've been, like all of us, kind of stuck at home for the past year, and we don't know quite when the doors are opening or when we, the doors are starting to open right now. And you sounds like you've been doing um, um, energy work. You said hands-on healing and stuff like that. Was I getting that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, and I, and I feel for you this. I don't know if you're ready to sell your house and get the heck out of Dodge, but I, I have oh. to say, um, get the heck out of Dodge is is really like, well, what's Dodge and where am I going? Because it's all Dodge, right? So um, as I blend in with you, I have this sense of um, you're really working with your intuition, your intuitive school, skills, and Arch- um, Angel Ratziel, not Archangel, but I always think, is the angel of um, the Akashic Records or bringing the records working from Metatron and going into um, giving people an understanding. Ratziel was the angel that um, at the Garden of Eden, this is mythology, when Adam and Eve came out of the garden and to say, okay guys, you don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to show you. So he gave the, Adam and Eve the Book of Life. And um, what this angel is saying to you is read your you know to work with the akashic records we are in a in a huge monumental transformative time for all of humanity use your senses you have you have uh, you're spot on with your senses you feel them through your body physically and to trust those physical sensations i'm not sure because you don't have clarity yet on where you're going to go, stay put. And I feel that you're really working on um, you're working on changing something, but your changing has to do with um, your structure. It has to do with what you do as a living. It has to do with yourself as a wisdom, as a mentor and a leader. And right now you're facing the shadow aspect. The, you're facing the dark part of, well, what the heck, you know, where are we going? Where am I going? What am I doing? So what's in your basement and what, what it is for you to attend to as you're looking at your shadow, as, as you're trying to figure out where your foundation for your next change is, is to take a look at your own discontent, your own unhappiness, your own boredom. You have everything that you need around you, but nothing is speaking to you. So there there is a place for you to go out in the future. There is a place for you to move to, um, but, but you haven't seen it yet. Your head is still down on what you're doing. So... I want you, the action to take is to work with um, creating, envisioning, and creating um, from spirit, from your intuition, a place for you to go. So don't pack up your bags just yet, Keep you know, and and um, and you will continue to, um, your idea is that you let go, let go until one sits and starts to take root. Does this make sense to you? you, you you're there, totally. you feel it, but you're not there. But you, you will be guided more and more. But the action to take now is to see where you are. Pick your chin up and look around and, and see what resonates with you. So thank you, uh, Mary Lou. I spent, um, it was nice talking to you. And if you want to talk to me more later, I'm around. But um, All so, right. Thank you so much. That is helpful. 
Thank you. So we're going to go on a break. You're listening to Angelscapes with Nancy Smith, and uh, we'll be right back. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. Then welcome back. So we're going to continue with the readings. I have Leslie in. Leslie, what is your question? What can I help you with? Oh, hi. Thank you so much for being present. Um, I am currently in a, uh, I need to ignite a new focus, if you will. I currently work with animals, and I was uh, previously working as an interpreter for the deaf. So um, I kind of found my voice, if you will, working with animals and um this is my career, and I just want to know if there's. I I just happened to log on around quarter of eight. And there was a discussion around people, dogs passing, and and dogs going to the other side, of, I, which immediately alerted me to the fact that this is what I like doing. Um, I'm a definitely a animal person, if you will, and feel like I could almost be an animal whisperer, a dog whisperer. <laughs> yeah, so, I feel like you are. Yes. Yeah, so. Go ahead. So what is your, I feel like you said animals like 17 times. So I think animals, you're right in the right spot. And, um, and, and so, and, uh, so what's the the next career? Uh, I, I feel like your next career is very intuitive based. It's very service based. It's very um, prayerful based. I feel like the angels are again around you um, for you. So I, what I want you to do is, is really to look to your soul. I feel like you said an animal whisperer, but I also feel animal communicator in terms of what I mean. You're hearing what they're saying and, and you're able to um, understand them and do work with them and help their owners to understand. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of people really coming into that gift. And I'm not saying people are running after this gift but they're coming into it you have a tremendous amount of compassion and your compassion is what's speaking to you and that compassion is the road in for these animals and I feel like you've really been um, going through um, I want you to be patient with yourself I want you to make a plan I don't want you to quit your day job but you've been feeling um, your your life theme has been kind of like well I'm kind of alone in this and I'm not quite sure and I feel like I'm alone in my life so there was we, when we go yeah. into these beautiful um, spiritual pathways there's usually something that happens in our life that triggers that not triggers us but pushes us forward there's got to be more to life than this and you're one of those people and um because and what you did instead of going in and being kind of cranky and angry you went in and you found light and so so you're being gifted now with bringing that 
light, that compassion, that understanding to other beings and the animals are, are um, you know, we underestimate how important the animals are on this planet and how much they serve us and help, help us. So I'd like for you to very carefully take a look at your gifts and, and make a plan around how you want to work with people and work with other people. This isn't something that's going, this is something that's happening to you and flowering out. But in terms of, you said career, business, is something that you have to plan for. And, and, and then put those, put the, um, start getting on that drawing table and making out a plan of how you would like to, how you would like to and how you would like to feel when you open up a service uh, or a career around around helping with animals and I have to say um, for you you know there's pets there's home pets but I also want to talk about pets who are service pets um, that and, I, and I'm going a little bit into farm and a little bit into agriculture and and things like that like you could take a look at a flock of uh, chickens or you could take a look at you know the cows in the fields that go uh, and, and, and bring information. I, I feel like you need to get some documentation. You need to have some experience and so that other farmers and people could testify for you. Like, she figured out that I was putting the fertilizer and it was making the cow's, cow's stomach upset, but they did, I didn't know until they told her. You know, that kind of thing. So uh, that is your gift. That's where you're going for it, Leslie. And um, and don't don't be shy, you know, but, but do be careful about making a specific plan for yourself so you don't undermine your well-being as you move into. But your intuitive work is so important So for you. And so thank you, Lori, for coming along. So I'm going to thank you. I'm going to move on to Susan. Is Susan there? Do I have Susan here? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, Susan. Can you hear me? How are you? Yes. I'm I can fine. hear you, Susan. I can hear you just fine. What's your question, Susan? What can I help you with? Well, with COVID, we've all been stuck in the house, and there's a lot of changes. I just wanted to know um, what direction you see my relationship that I'm in right now going. Do you think we'll be closer, or do you think we'll go apart? Well, you haven't killed each other yet, right? I mean, you're still like, right. you know, you're, you're talking to each other. And um, I feel like a couple of things are happening. The isolation has, you know, knocked your socks off. But what I want you to do, I guess remember if it's Irma Bombeck, you know, like um, – she taught you know. Do you remember Irma Bomb back? I don't know how old you are. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. remember how she said, um, "Who says life is a bowl of cherries?" So what am I doing in the pits? But she also said, "Use your good china. Why are you waiting for Sunday? Get put your fancy dress up. Put your fancy shoes on." And I feel like you are surrounded, uh, and, and and this their partner that you're with. I mean, you guys are exhausted. You're back. And we're all pulling our hair out, and, and so are you two. But there is so much love between the two of you, and joy between the two of you. But you have had. No place, you know what I mean? It's a little bit too much for a little bit too long. So um, change up. Change up right now. Change up what you do. Change up how you um, your, 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 um, make a Sunday dinner. Get your good china out. Get dressed up. Go, you know, have him go for a walk. You go for a walk. I don't know who your partner is. And, um, and really see yourself and your life through fresh eyes and then begin to okay. talk to each other through fresh eyes. You will rediscover that love between you. You're both just, I just feel like you're tired rags like we all are and you need to change it. And I also want to uh, immerse yourself in joy, but I also want you to take a look and read, read Anne Frank's work. All right. Go uh, to the library. You know who Anne Frank is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to just read the first, you know, few chapters of, of the, her book and just read what it was like for them to be um, hiding, you know, and I somehow there's something in there for you. I don't know, it just popped through my head. It's not like I know it, that, that there was something in her attitude as she had to work, live with all these people in that really tiny, tiny spot. And I think that will give you a fresh perspective because you need a fresh perspective. Um, you're... There's a lot of love between you and your partner. Don't throw it out. Just be patient and change it up. Put on your Sunday best okay. once in a while. Okay, Cindy? All right, thanks. Thank you so much. We're trying to make it through oh, to three people. You. So, Susan, thank you. So, you be well. Um, thank so, you. You too. Yeah. yeah, so do I have, Sean, do I have time for one more, you think? For you just... Okay, all right, well, this is Angelscapes, this is Nancy Smith, and we'll be right back. 
ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. And welcome back. You're listening to Angelscapes with Nancy Smith on BBM Global Network Radio. We're doing readings um, right now. I, I, I can't believe how the lines are just filled. But I just wanted to say that if you wanted to read more about me, you can go on angelscapes.net. And you can contact me at nancy at angelscapes.net. And, um, and if you want to reach out to me on Facebook, I'm uh, Nancy of Angelscapes on Facebook. So if you want to reach me and, and you haven't done that tonight, please reach out to me. And we'll talk. So our next person is Mary. Mary Glenn. How are you doing? I'm sorry I'm saying your last name. I shouldn't do that. Um, what is your question and what can I do for you, Mary? Hi, Nancy. Thanks for taking Hi. the question. Um, it's kind of a, a theme for tonight, but of all the modalities that I do, I love the mediumship. And I just want to see um, what you sense from spirit on sort of my next steps and the best direction for me i know mary i i just love that you're asking that question and i feel um a couple things happening with you yes the mediumship is part of what you do and and it's a very strong part of what you do and i feel um as i work with you you're you're very much honing in your skill of mediumship you've you've moved from you're definitely in the journeyman's place you're definitely in that power place in terms of connecting people to their loved ones and i i feel that in your message work i have to say this i know we have certain training where we deliver the message you know you you, you're getting your communicators very clearly and you're delivering the message but i also feel there's a piece here that's unique to you is you're able to hear the questions from the sitter from the person sitting with you that's alive to spirit and that you can hear spirit answer them back so i feel that you have the ability and you haven't quite explored that yet to have a give and take three way a really truly three-way give and take that's a special gift that you have i also feel like right now you're just in a bit of a slump i mean what i mean by slump is that you're um you're your your third eye and that mystical part of yourself just needs a little bit shining up i feel that things are getting um, long in the tooth for um, COVID, for staying at home, for jobs, for what's going forward in the next six months. And that is kind of not weighing well on you. And so what I want you to do is, is really work with spirit on how to move through that energy um, and how to um, reorganize your resources and, um, and what to do about that from spirit. Because they are willing to talk to you for other people, but they are willing to talk to you for you. And that's a that's really important piece for you to do right now. 
Does that help you at all? Does that make sense? Um, that does help me. I channel a lot, and I'm working on a book, and um, that kind of fits into that, I think. I think that book is really they're talking to you through your writing in your book. So whatever it is you're writing, no, it's for me too. Um, so um, and keep and keep writing. Um, just a little bit of information. I feel like you have been writing and you've really built a nice foundation, uh, a structure in your book. But now it's time to dive deep. It's like you made, I see a pie, and the crust is made, the top crust, the bottom crust, and everything's cooked up really nice, and now it's time to go into the meat of it, to really go into the juicy part, is what I feel like in your book. So it's, and, it, and it's very much channeling with you, uh, you know, yeah. and so, um, so Mary, I'm going to give you that from Spirit, um, and you have Sandal- Sandolphin is with you. If you do any angel work, Sandolphin is really working with you now. Um, so please use the Akashic Records with your work as well. So thank you very much, Mary. So nice talking to you. Great. Lori, can I move to Lori now? Sure thing. Hi, Lori. So how are you? What's going on? And Well, first tell me your question. And um, how can I help you? So, I recently had a bunch of changes, and I'm questioning if I'm in the right spot. Um, so I thought, well, you're on air, so I might as well ask, uh, was my move in the right place? If I were to say, would this make sense to you, where you've moved to, is was the right is the right best place but it's not the last place you're either going to do a huge expansion where you you need to put an addition on where you are or you're moving to a bigger spot in the next like 2022 would that make sense to you you're growing oh it makes a lot of sense yep it makes a okay. ton of sense okay so so you awesome. so so don't get too heck don't get too hung up where you are but you are you know you you're growing very quickly um and i want you to just dig in um you're only begun to um what you do now i think if i understand it you work with people in their spaces you work with your design you design stuff right yeah yeah Yeah. so you're adding a certain um aspect to your design in terms of um and i and i want to the word feng shui comes to mind but it's more than that because with Mm -hmm. the design that you're doing with people is um you're blending in their colors and their textures and their structure to uh create a place that is um inspirational and healing um for them so you're helping people to know what they want in their space so that they can thrive so it's going beyond you know that that basic design you're you're yeah. kind of um um you know Frank Lloyd Wright um how he used to design he would study people and then his designs were given to them based on their lifestyles and who they were yeah. I want you to I want you to study people. You study your clients. Um, and, uh, mm-hmm. and I also feel like some you got some um, fears stomping at your back doors, and I, I feel like some of the past is still bothering you, still causing anxiety within you. And um, I, I just feel like I want to tell you to turn around, open up that rattling closet and just say, what's going on? Who's here? Everyone come on out. I'm going to talk to you and um, face your fears because um, you're, you're second guessing yourself based on something crummy that happened in the past that's going to keep you from expanding. So if you want to talk to me further about that, um, I would love to talk to you about the energies of clearing out the past and the fears. All right, sweetheart. Oh, that would be awesome. All right. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thanks, Thank Lori. You, oh, you're welcome. Right. Have a great night. You too, you too. Did I? All right, so uh, we're good. Yeah, so we're going to come back. When we come back, we'll have the, the next um, person. I think we'll talk on break who the next person's going to be. This is Angelscapes, and I'm your host, Nancy Smith. We're on boldbravemedia.com, um, and our podcasts are going to be on all the podcast stations. This this show will be on iHeartRadio, iTunes Radio, and, and Spotify. So take a look at this show and all the other shows. This is show number 67, so there's 66 other shows you can listen to. All right, be right back. 
to It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and Tune in radio. And welcome back. This is Angel Scapes, and I am your host, Nancy Smith. We're taking callers right now, and I, I have uh, some some beautiful women waiting to, to talk to, and I'm going to start with Jessica. Jessica, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, Jessica. What, can, what is your question? How can I help you today? Well, I'm really worried about money and employment right now. <laughs> it's just bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let me feel like into you. Jessica, I feel like when I, I talk to you, I mean, I think we've talked, a, a, this is not the first time I've talked to you, but I feel like you have a huge creative amount of energy. So you're a very creative person. I want to say energy, but I also feel like um, when you, you're just somehow do you understand when I say creative that whatever you do is very creative it's outside of the box but I also feel like I'm, we are working with your hands and you're working with color and structure does that make sense um, yeah I went to school for design and um, I've been doing creative pursuits for a long time so yeah that's right that's right um, I feel that you're looking for stability and some joy and I know that um, the money's been short coming so and so I feel like there's a time for you to change things up I feel like you're going to take a little bit of a, a break from what you're doing right now and you're going to look to how you can apply with with love and, and expansion and creativity what you can do into um into making more money so we need to kind of take a break from this where you're going not that you're going to stop doing it completely but i want you to get into um there's a marketplace for you um and i feel like it's where you are there's a lot of places uh, things are changing in terms of being out there um with people and and selling and stuff like that and i feel that um there's something that you can create, that I'm going literal here, that you can put into different stores or you could put into making orders or something like that. I feel that um, that the stability is coming. If you, if you And I feel like you already have connections with people doing what you thought would be a mundane project or a project that didn't make that much sense to you. But I feel like if you put yourself into it, you could make some money and you will really actually like it a lot more than you think. Do you can you figure out what it is I'm talking about? Because I'm, I'm just going energetically here. With um, it's not T-shirts, but it's something that you can create that's unique unto yourself, and that you can create many of them, and that people are going to be interested in buying them. 
Um, cause I, cause I was going off, is she going to go in and get a job and work for somebody? And I feel like that's, that's not your two cents. That's not your world. Does that make sense to you? So you're taking your expertise and you're working, working it differently. Um, I was thinking about, I do illustrations that are really personalized. Yeah. So I was thinking about, I was thinking about doing something like that, um, I was yeah. also interested in um, a friend of mine um, maybe starting a touring company um, <laughs> soon for, you know, the nightlife here in Las Vegas, and she needs somebody to host those tours, so mm -hmm. I was hoping to be able to do that, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's going to happen. Sooner than you think, I feel like I'm not making any predictions here, but I do, you know, in terms of the whole global thing, but I do feel like you'll be able to um, move through smaller groups. You'll be able to make those connections. Uh, you, I saw, So you just said two sources of income is what I see. This one will come along, I think, by May or June, the, the tour thing. But then before then, I want you to set up some kind of products that you could sell because I also feel that... Um, Kiosks or small stores or something are, are looking for products, and you have something beautiful to show, um, and, and that will really people will really like. So, all right. So, you a lot of love to you, but stay in your creative world. Don't go far from that. Okay, okay Thank Jessica. You. Thank you. You take care. All right. So, we're going to move over to um, Jen. Jen, welcome. Are you here, Jen? I am. Can you hear me? Hi, I can hear you, Jen. How you, it's good to hear you. What is your question, Jen? Um, well, I recently took a contract position, and I'm not really liking it. And I, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should stick it out or look for something else now. I yeah, yeah. I need the money. Yeah, we... Um, whoa... I, I feel that um, I feel like there's something else coming towards you. Of course, you need the money. We're never going to say leave a job before you have another job. But I also feel that um, you have a uh, you're being underutilized in this one job. But I also feel like uh, your ability to um, envision things, um, create things, put a new perspective on stuff, or in, a, um, in, in 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 any place that you work. Any employer would love to, who's, you know, a smart employer, would enjoy having the way you think. Um, but I, I feel like another thing that's affecting you, so I want you to take a look at this before you leave the job, is that there's been some big disappointments in and around your life. And... Um, and, some, and those disappointments are kind of talking to you loud in your ear while you're at work. And I feel like there's even some um, interactions with some people in the job that are causing you to um, not be happy because they're kind of stepping on your your past. They're stepping on your old, your you know, I don't want to do that again kind of thing. It's so personal as much. And um, so what I want you to do is continue to look for another job, continue to rewrite, they call it CVs now, but your resume, and rewrite who you are and what you want to create and begin to visualize what you want and how you want to feel in the next job and really um, bring bring love and excitement back into your life. If this, it's, like, it's like a piece that's an energetic flow that's missing. It's like I want to put another strand of color into your life so that when you step forward into this next job, that strand of color is there. Does that make, I mean, I, does that make sense here? I'm, I'm talking crazy. But I want to... No, uh, some, there's some healing and excitement that needs to happen for you. So take this time, this particular job as a resting place for healing and, and for kind of regathering yourself up. But this is not your permanent place. You already know that. So So make plans. But... All right, sweetheart. Hopefully that. Thank you. Thank you. So we have um, just a little bit of time left, and I, I need to get going and um, to the ne to the next commercial break. So this is um, Angelscapes. I'm your host Nancy Smith, and we'll be right back to the take the next reader. 
Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. And welcome back. This is Angelscapes, and I'm your host, Nancy Smith. And we are having our spot reading night. And I'm really excited to have so many people calling in. And the next person I'm going to read for is Linda. Hello, Linda. Hi, Nancy. How oh, doing good? Good, good, um, good. I wanted to know, I've got an offer to go back to work in May, and I've been in bed for four and a half months. I want to know if I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> All right, that's a good question. So, Linda, I am going to do some fun things. I'm, I have these little animal totem cards, and I'm going to just see which animal totems are here to help you. I'm hearing a yes for May, um, but I'm also hearing it's time to... Um, shift what it is that you're doing. I know you've been in bed and I, I feel like some of the, I don't know if you had physical therapy or medical, whatever you're doing medical, it's time to shift it up a little bit. Um, so I, I don't know what that means, but if there's another modality that you can reach into and begin to do, um, the, the little, a little mouse comes in because you, I love, you know, you love animals, but a little tiny mouse spirit comes in that says, take a look at the small things around you and tend to all those little details. And then the big groundhog spirit that comes in that says, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse. It's time to let it go. It's time to find a new cycle. And, um, and so how is that going to happen and what's the message around that is feels to me that your time of resting is over i feel like you've done healing work when i say healing work or, or going to um reiki or hands-on healing or right. acupuncture i think it's time to pull the stops out on on some of that and begin to add that into your your modality, you're having very, a lot of blessings are, are, are have been working through you now and are con- going to continue to work through you. The angels are um, are coming to heal you, but I feel like movement is, um, I mean, I'm not telling you medically what to do. I just feel like I want to um, let the healing happen. Do you know what I mean? Let move it. Does this make sense to you? I got to change. Time to change things up here. Well, no. I usually do reiki and I do sound baths as well. So I'm trying to heal. <laughs> I feel like something more hands-on, either physical therapy or so. I want something touching you. I want. I want something moving you. I feel like there's there's a physical movement going on here, and I don't, you know, and I mean, you have to do that through the medical care, through the medical um, piece, um, and um, there's something that you can add here that will help you, help you a lot. It's like whatever it is that you were meant to work on, whatever you were meant to do, as you move quietly within yourself, it's kind of finished its it's finished its cycle. Um, so um, if you want to work with me more, um, I do s- the somantic presencing where we where I, we could go deep into the pain and deep into what your body is telling you. We can kind of move it through that way. It's, it's a pretty good long session. Um, and then you, your body will actually tell you what it needs as well. And you're pretty good with the medical stuff. So, um, so bring that into a balance. But I want to get hands on healing with you. Myofascial kind of stuff and maybe physical or something, physical therapy. It's time to move okay. very gently. Yeah, so gonna, well, I, I would have started walking, but we had so much ice here. It's just now melting, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, you won't, yeah. So it's very gently, very slowly. It's, it's time to move. Um, so, yeah, yes, thank yes you. say the job in May is a yes. 
So thank right, you. Thank you. Okay. And Michelle, I'd like to go to Michelle. Hello. Hi, Michelle. Could I? What can I do for you today? Hi, Nancy. I'm a first-time caller um, from Michigan, and hey. I have some. I I have some recent health developments. I'm wondering what you uh, see as far as getting better, or what okay. um, I can do. Okay. Well, I feel like. Yeah, you're seeing physicians, and I feel like your medical care, your your traditional Medicare medical care, is is doing okay with you. I mean, I feel like there's a few other things that could step in, but I wouldn't. Um, and as I, this is a lot of. Um, but when I go into the energetic part of it, the spiritual part of it, we're not taking away from the medical um, care for it, but the spiritual is is about. Um, it's about your expression with yourself, your expression. I, I, I mentioned to Linda, do somatic presencing, presencing, which is basically about sitting with yourself, loving yourself, and allowing your body to talk to you. And some of the things, what you think it is, isn't what it is. And I'm, I'm feeling like um, it has to do with you working too hard for too long without really having community and love around you and being able to just take a break and have a blast and why am I working so hard and where am I going and what am I doing this for kind of I feel like those questions have been hanging out in the back of your mind for a while and then I also feel right. that it it's time for you to expand into something new in your life. It's whatever it is, maybe it's your job or you're going to move up to another job or you're just going to expand it out or have a different aspect that you're working from. And you've been holding tight on to, to, to not going there for lots of reasons, lots of practical reasons. Of course, this past year, everyone's been stopped in their tracks, but you can't stop in your tracks anymore. Um, so I want you to trust the um detour that you've had and know that you will get better mm -hmm. that you will heal and um and but you're being um your soul is um you're not being derailed as much as you're being redirected by your soul so the help whatever you need to do with your health care i feel like this is uh, um not so much muscular skeletal as it's through your what are you, through an organ or through the blood or something like that. Do you understand? Because um, Linda was before was talking about her back was hurting. That's muscular skeletal. Um, is that, am I hitting getting a feeling for that correctly? Um, it's rheumatoid arthritis actually. Yeah. That talking yeah. About. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of moving through your body. Yeah. Um, right. All right. Right. Um, connective tissue. Right? Yeah. So and so the um, okay. So it is through the tissues. The um, you have your inner world, your inner self has so much to say, so much to say, and um, from a, an energetic, spiritual aspect, I would want you to express your voice more. I want you to express your dreams more. Don't let the pain keep you from dreaming. Let the pain inspire you. To know who get to know yourself, to know really who you are deep, deep and down, and um, what you're suppressing and what needs to be um, not suppressed anymore, and you will find your way through this. You will find your way through this, but it's a new path, definitely a new path, and don't be afraid of this new path. All right, so thank you. So we're gonna yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Hopefully, you know, and if you have to want to do more work, you know where I am. So um, we're going to go on a break. I'm just going to tell you shortly, if you want to connect with me, you can go through my site, angelscapes.net. You can reach me through nancy at angelscapes.net or Facebook, Nancy Smith or Nancy of Angelscapes. There's a lot of Nancy Smiths out there. And I have a book called Divine Love Affair and Akashic Journey, which talks a lot about going on a spiritual path and learning to talk to your inner, um, your inner divine self. And and be, create a spiritual path. You can find that it's called Divine Love Affair and Akashic Journey, and you can find that on Amazon.com. Do reach out to me if there's any way I can help you. And okay. uh, this is Age Escapes. I'm your host Nancy Smith, and we'll be right back. And Michelle, see you. Thank you so much. The opiate epidemic.
pandemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a passionate book that tells the true story of author Rhonda Knudsen's journey through the darkness and adversity of abuse. The book takes readers on an emotional trail from the depths of despair to the heights of forgiveness and understanding. She was inspired to help others, and her book is a vital tool through this process. Faithful to God and devotional to her beacon of hope, Rhonda Knudsen is a perfect example of finding a guiding light that helped her come through the dark and into the light. Her book can assist you in overcoming your challenges with abuse. The publication of Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story, is a triumphant achievement, and it can help you take ownership of your own experience of abuse and come through stronger than before. Rhonda is currently working on two more books, Shadows of Corruption and Coast to Coast on a Piece of Toast. To read more about this inspiring author and purchase her books, visit RhondaKnutson.com or go to www.amazon.com. And welcome back. You're listening to Angel Scapes with Nancy Smith. I'm on Bold BBM Global Network. And I also wanted to remind you that these podcasts are, uh, these shows are being recorded and they will become podcasts on TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. So please look us up if you want to listen to this show again, or there's plenty of other shows that talk about soul power living. So, Katie, welcome. And what can I do for you today, Katie? Hi. Thank you, Nancy. Um, so I have a quick question. I have been doing a lot of spiritual work and um, finally found some communities that I'm connecting with and I have this great opportunity to go on a trip next month. And my question is I need some guidance as to whether I should or should not go. Mm. And I and I feel like the, the question is around your... Um, it's not around money. I feel like it's around is it COVID or or you'll be ex- exposing yourself. It's, it's my family basically thinking that something really bad's going to happen to me and guilt tripping me. So I feel like I'm being tested to, you know, stand my ground and follow a calling. But at the same time, if something bad's going to happen, to like my dad has a heart attack because I go anyway. <laughs> I, know, I, honey. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I this trip, uh, honestly, um, um, this trip is kind of big for you. Um, I feel that that there's a lot of gifts in this trip, and I feel like you're going to be touching with some that, that healer healing journey or that opening up to yourself, your your soul is, is very, it's a transformative place. It's a transformative thing that you're doing. There's miracles going to happen. And I also feel like there's a lot of inner shifts that will happening. And the reason your family is upset about it is not at all because of COVID. It's because. No, I just dialed the number again. It's because that they, um, are you there, Kitty? It's because no, no, they're, I am. No. they're, they're gonna, somebody needs to, um, uh, mute their phones. So, um, there, you're you're going to make a big changes, Katie. Oh. It's big, big, lovely, happy experiences, and your family's just nervous about it, you know, because that's what families do. So the encouragement is to go, to be careful, you know, and do do follow all the guidelines. And I'm sure that everyone's going to be aware of this wherever you're going. I feel like you trust this. You've you've vetted it out pretty well, and um and go and do your work. Go into your work. It's it's. I, I see a lot of transformation happening for you. Trust the magic, and um, 
be in the moment and you will um, be careful and, and you're going to learn a lot. You're going to have a wonderful experience. And it's been, this, this thing has been a long time coming for you. It really has. So the answer is yes. Just embrace Great. it. Yeah. Thank you. I needed that. Thank you. All right. You go. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. And Don, can I speak to you next, Don? Yeah, Tanya, please. Hi. Thanks for calling in. What, what's Thank your you. question? Yeah. Um, I was recently offered an opportunity to do Reiki in a massage place. Um, and I met with a lady. And I had a good vibe from it, but I've never charged anyone yet. So I'm oh. ready to get my license. And okay, so very quickly what I want to tell you is balance yourself. There's a lot of wisdom, a lot of approaching here, uh, a lot of approaching things methodically and carefully. It's time for you to charge it's it's time for you to um not worry about i've never charged before uh, because you love what you do and you're very good at it and um and so sometimes breaking breaking that glass ceiling of like okay now i'm doing it for money it feels like it's going to change it's just not going to be right or i'm 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 between no you're past the beginner you're totally past the beginner place and it is time and um i feel that you there's a lot of things you could do around the money if you feel like you want to um help people but I want you to build a business it's time for you to build a business and, and it's time for you and also uh, the Reiki as we know there needs to be an exchange um, for it for for people to really receive it they have to give for it you don't that exchange needs to happen I want you to take a look at that aspect in your life what are you um, not wanting to receive and give back and forth take a look at the balance of exchange for yourself in your life and that's the real that's the real big deal for you we could work on that later a little more deeper because i feel like that's a little bit of um, belief systems and a little bit of changing up but use your mind wisely do your passion and please do charge thank you okay so, all right thank, thank you. you don thank you so much so we're going to go take a break and when we come back we'll be wrapping up i might be able to talk to you. oh it's over well, goodbye. Oh, my gosh. That was wonderful. So thank you, everyone, for coming. This is Angelscapes. I'm your host, Nancy Smith. And if you liked what you heard, be in touch with me at angelscapes.net or nancy at angelscapes. And we can work further. And then tell write me at nancy at angelscapes. Say you heard me on the show and that you want to go further and learn some more. And I will respond to you. All right. Thank you so much. It's all. All right. This has been Angelscapes with host Nancy Smith. Tune in each week as Nancy discusses ideas, tips, and lessons to help you open to receive divine love, joy, and soul power in your life. You can discover the powerful being you really are right here on Nancy Smith's Angelscapes. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.